In this video, we are going to draw the hanger jaw in Inventor. We are first going to select the ENUS, go to English, and then go to standard.ipt, and this will make our dimensions in inches. Create. And then we will go to start 2D sketch. I'm going to draw the, or sketch the front view, so I'll pick the XY plane. Then I'm going to click the line and start drawing the outside boundary of the finger jaw. So let's start. I'll start here, go up. The right dimensions don't matter right now, so just kind of guess or approximate what you think it looks like. Okay. Hmm. Escape, and then I'm going to dimension this. Um, just making sure. Okay. So then I will go to dimension, and I'm going to do my big dimensions first. So that will be 4.75. Enter. Then zoom out, and then from here to here will be 4.5. Enter. All right, and then we will do these vertical boundaries or dimensions. So we'll go from there to there. That will be 1.25. Enter. From here to here will be 1.75. Enter. Oh, I'll move that over. Uh, from this O to that will be 0.5. And then from here to here will also be 0.5. Enter. All right. And then we will, let's go over here and create our, oh, we can actually do this right here. That's going to be three. And we're over constraining, so we'll just cancel that. All right. Now let's click escape to exit out of the dimensions and create our fillets. Actually, I'm going to move this over help me visualize my dimensions. All right, and then you'll go to fillet. We are gonna do the top 0.5 radius fillet. Then equals this and this. And then I'll hit escape and dimension that part. So dimension this will be 0.25. All right, and then we'll go back to fillet. I hit radius of 1.25 equals this nine and this nine. Awesome. And we can see that the center of the circle doesn't hit this portion. So the distance from here to here, like the drawing, is not going to equal 1.25. So let's escape dimension from here to here and we'll make that zero. All right, awesome. And then we'll go through and do these dimensions right here. We go to this one. That is going to be 0.75. Enter. This is going to be 2.75. Enter. And then we know that this right here is two. Enter. All right. So I believe we have all of the dimensions for the front face. Just double checking. All right. Great. So then we will finish our sketch. Zoom out. Go to extrude. We want to extrude this sketch by three inches. Okay, and then we will do another sketch, do it on this face. We are going to draw a center circle right in the center there. And it'll be three inches, three inch diameter or radius of 1.5. All right, finish sketch, 
we will extrude and we will go to here. Okay. And the last step is to draw or to modify the design with a hole. So the first thing is we're going to select our placement. First, we're going to click here to position um, where we can actually click the R. Oh, ah, okay. Control or escape really quickly. Let me redo that. I accidentally clicked some things. So I'll click the face and click this arc right there. So it will be positioned in this circle. And then we want to make sure that we go through all of the material. We want to make sure that it's symmetric because you can see if I do this, only go in one direction because our circle sketch is actually on this face. Okay, so through all, and we want to make sure our diameter is 1.5. Okay, so here's our drawing. The last step we have to do is actually change the material. So right click on your part, name, eye properties, physical, then click on the drop down under material, scroll down to feel mild, and then right here you should be able to see the volume. So our volume is 28.578 inches cubed. So click apply and close. 